tips from PCAddicts.com. Calculate. Another basic utility that review that received a major overhaul is the calculator. In addition to standard and scientific views, there are now programmer and statistic modes. And let's go ahead and bring this up right now. Actually, you know what? Why did I just type that all out? I always, I don't know why I just did that. But uh, in, in the instant search, I just type calc. And it shows up right here already. So you just hit enter. And there it is. So there's our calculator. I think this is the first time I've opened it in Windows 7, to be honest. So let's continue. Um, you will also love the conversion and calculation features. Want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, but can never remember the formula? Use a conversion panel. You also enjoy the data calculation extension. Quickly find the difference between two dates or calculate a new date by adding or subtracting years, months, or days. All right, let's just check it out real quick. Let's, let's see. We got a scientific. Okay, we got a programmer. Cool, cool, cool. We got statistics, which whatever that is, and standard. Then also worksheets. What is all this stuff? Okay. Well, I'm just kind of browsing since this is the first time I've I've seen this. And then history is checked. So as you're typing here, 89 times 5 equals boom. You know. Okay. Cool. There's calculator. Manage services from Task Manager. The Windows 7 Task Manager now includes a tab to manage services. You can quickly see at a glance at the status of all services on your machine. Click a column heading to sort. You can even start and stop services with a simple right click. If you need full-blown service managing, use the services button to launch the services manager con console. You may often have the Task Manager running in the system tray. Now, having service management access means only one means one less window you have to open so let's see what they're talking about now is let's go into task manager right click on the taskbar it opened up on my other monitor so you now have the services tab here so you can manage um, services if you want to stop or actually you can't manage it completely I guess you can get to it from here normally I would just go services.msc hit enter and there's all actually all our services and you can manage them here you can um, say okay I want it to be disabled or automatic blah 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 but what they're saying here is now it's available in Windows Task Manager which is kinda nice okay moving on get under the hood Windows 7 offers more ways to peek under the hood without adding third-party solutions a terrific example is the resource monitor the performance tab in Windows Task Manager is a good. Okay, let's just bring that back up. Um, actually, yeah. okay, maybe not. Hold on. Uh, a terrific example is a resource monitor. The performance tab in Windows Task Manager is a good start, but sometimes you need more information. Click the resource monitor button to get more detailed information and performance gra graphs for key subsystems like CPU and disk. You can also find the resource monitor under Accessories and System Tools. So let's just go to it from here. Um, this just shows you a little bit more detailed information. You can go look on your uh, your disk drives. And uh, let's see. Oops. CPU, CPU, CPU. Where is my disk drive? How come it looks different? I don't know. This is the first time I looked at it on this Windows 7 box. But oh, there. That's why, because I'm under the CPU tab. Dope. I was thinking I was in the overview here. Now in the over overview, you can see what's actually being used. Uh, let's see, let's sort it by write, app data temp, and that's the screen capture that I'm recording right now. But uh, resource monitor has a lot of a lot of good stuff in there. Check vital signs. Another new system tool you'll enjoy is the system health report. In the run dialog box, type perfmon slash report. So let's do that. Oops. Uh, for performance monitor slash report enter and here we go which generates a system health report this this report records uh, records details or records details about your computer's performance resource usage and more the report also includes diagnostic information about things that aren't working as they should and suggested steps to resolve them the reports are saved and can be accessed with the performance mon monitor management tool you can also save it as an HTML file and send it or send it to uh, to uh, through email or something um, bo -bo -bo -bo. so it's still collecting data let's let that collect while we move on put it on old stuff one perhaps not so obvious Windows 7 tip 
is that you should attempt to install it everywhere. One user has a six-year-old computer that originally shipped with Windows XP. He could never get Windows Vista to install on it, but, when, but Windows 7 installed without complaint and runs extremely smooth. Granted, there are some Windows 7 features he can't take advantage of because, of the, proce because the processor lacks certain features, but these are minor issues considering the laptop now has life again. And I have to agree with that because I have a uh, 2004 Toshiba satellite uh, it's Intel Celeron 1.6 gigahertz with uh, I maxed out the memory at 512 megs and Vista had problems on it but Windows 7 ran ran good by default so yeah, I would highly suggest trying it on older stuff so here's our report you can save as HTML blah 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 but anyways you can go through here and look at some of the some of the stuff I presume but anyways, okay. Improved security. In Vista, it was difficult to manage system protection via restore points. The system protection tab in Windows 7 is a vast improvement. In one spot, you can configure how much space to devote to rest restore points, delete and create restore points, or even turn off system protection altogether. This is very useful in older systems where disk space may be at a premium. And I think in one of the other videos, we glanced at uh, system restore. Let's look at this next. You can go in here and you can scan for affected programs, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, that concludes our Windows 7 tips. At least in this series, I'm going to be producing a lot more videos with quick tips, like the short, real quick tips that I f find are very useful. And uh, make sure you join PCAddicts.com on the site. Uh, join up as a member. You can, um, you can uh, join in on the contests, the giveaways, the forums, the chat, everything. See you there.